So hi guys, my name is Valer, your friend in Reykjavik and I'm gonna teach you how to do the traditional Icelandic fish balls or fish cakes. I'll try to do my best. I'm an amateur chef and uh, haven't done anything like this before. My wife does most of the cooking, but I do a couple of these traditional foods and tacos and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try my best and let's see how it goes. Hopefully you'll bear with me. Fish balls, this is basically any white fish. Uh, I have haddock right now, but we can do it from uh, cod. Then a little, uh, basically one onions. I'm gonna put the puff eggs, some uh, wheat, some potato starch, creamy Icelandic butter, of course, some Icelandic milk, and you see the Icelandic sanas, Yulalats are on the milk cartons uh, for the month of December. So I just uh, removed the fish skin of the, of the haddock. And then I'm gonna cut down some onions and uh, we'll go from there. Sounds like a plan. Still with me? Remember one thing, this is not an exact science. You know, you have to play with it a little bit. My boys are waiting for their dinner. So I'm actually gonna check the consistency. So the end product should look something like this. Sometimes I like to put uh, red pepper into this. You can also put chili, you know, spice it up a little bit. Don't do that because my, my family is not very fond of strong food like my, myself. And then I just uh, make these little fish balls out of these fish cakes and get them ready. Now I'm gonna heat up the pan. Of course, put a lot of creamy Icelandic butter. A lot of people fall in love with this creamy butter when they travel to Iceland. Perfecto. Use the butter. Don't be shy on using a lot of it. See these little bit golden brown, then 15 minutes in the oven, 200 degrees and, and perfect. So the water is starting to boil on the potato. So then they have about 20 minutes uh, after that. I'll start to melt this down, the Icelandic creamy butter and uh, a little bit of uh, onion. So the gravy or the sauce is basically Icelandic butter and just caramelize the onion a little bit and that's like a perfect to put on top of the fish cakes or fish balls. So here we have it. We have of course the fish balls, caramelized onion, so that's like the gravy. Some fresh potatoes, a sweet brown bread. Tasty. Mm. 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 